uh, Sunday morning before breakfast and I've come for a walk down by the River Verbas. It's the nearest river to us. Runs from the middle of Bosnia Herzegovina right to the Croatian border, which is 34 kilometers as the crow flies in front of me. It's very serene and quiet this morning. Quiet for me. Um, noisy for other people because all the birds are chirping. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's some kites flying around. Two beautiful red kites calling to each other. And before I sat down here on a big lump of rock in the middle of the river was the biggest heron ever. Well, the biggest one I've ever seen in nature. But a little bit disappointed today because all the wading birds seem to be somewhere else. Obviously the food for them has, has moved, but there are a couple of families of ducks on the on the other bank, on the Laktashi bank, um, just in front of me. Sun is now starting to get really hot on my, uh, on my shoulders. And it has been very, very hot here. And it's gonna get a lot hotter. We are on the 1st of August, if you wanna timestamp this video. Ooh, so many beautiful dragonflies as well. <laughs> it's lovely. I haven't done as many walks as I should do. I am starting to become quite sedentary. Read into that lazy. But I woke up this morning and thought I have to do it. I have to get out. I don't want to walk the dogs in this heat. But I walk along and see how things have changed. Um, when I came out, the first walk after... Uh, the COVID lifts, uh, it was surprising to see that people actually build houses. <laughs> yeah, that that is like stunning, right? Must be eight o'clock. The Orthodox Church, the bells are ringing in Laktashi, so that must be Sunday morning service, right? So yeah. Here's some of the walk that's got me to where I'm sitting at the moment. It's um, before eight o'clock on a Sunday morning and yeah, it's cool at the moment. It'll get up to 35 again today. So I just thought I would go for a quick walk down to the river. These um, are some weird Japanese sort of tree. That's what Tamara said. I don't know, a little bit weird to me, but yeah, this is the first day of August. These are the storm drains. They need to be cleared, I think, don't you, before the rain comes. And there's one of the neighbours driving down. And the sun is tremendously bright. Here we go. Whoa. I have to be very careful where I'm pointing this camera. But the colours are amazing. Look at that. Purple's down there. Those nice bluey type colours. Yeah. But this has to be cleared out because when we get the rains and uh, yeah, in about four months when the snow's melting and everything, this stops us flooding. Gorgeous, don't you think? Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna try and zoom in when I get home, but there's pears in that orchard. Pears, nice pears to eat or pear rakia to make. Look 
it's gorgeous living out here. I know I've done walks before, but I do see things differently every time after all these years. See what I mean? This has got to be cleared out. They actually bring a, a digger along here and just wrench it out. So yeah. Looks slightly different from the last time I came for a walk down to the river. Well, with this tremendous heat, I think we got up to 41 the other day, 42. As you can see, the crops are, uh, are okay. I mean, I don't know, maybe if you're watching this and you're a farmer or a, a country person, you'll say, David, those, uh, all that maize that you're showing me is stunted and dead. I don't know. But I'm amazed at the amount of greenery still. Our garden upstairs is just like a desert. I'll give you a quick spin. Look at it. Sunday morning in the Shire. Bales of hay. I'm always fascinated how they managed to uh, roll them up so nice. I know it's a machine, but even so, look pretty cool. And I don't think you can hear it, but we have all the birds chirping away. Uh, I think they're swifts swooping low and also there are <laughs> i'm not going to show you in the sky because you're not going to see anything right but up there somewhere are red kites lots of red kites in the valley Let's see if we have another look at one it's like a work of art isn't it i just saw two of the most beautiful red kites really low and they landed in the trees just ahead in the tree line when you want to film birds in flight it very rarely gives you the opportunity right but they were really huge and gorgeous colors one's just taken off and gone deeper into the trees I love them. Could sit here all day. I really could. Why would I want to live anywhere else? I haven't been doing too many walks though. The heat in the day has been a little bit too much and I haven't been quite my best as you may know if you've been following me on wherever you follow me online but I'm okay now down there is the uh, Turunitsa the small river that runs into the main river Verbas 
as you can see, it's totally dried up. Happens every year. Yeah. I'd like to see those kites again. See what I mean? Totally dry. And uh, actually overgrown. There is a huge tree trunk. It's obviously crashed down and floated around. The limit of the field. Simple marker. There's another one there. Simple things, but effective. I think uh, that's what you call a fallow field. Not being used this year. Letting nature give it a rest. And then next year, it's game on. I think. There's a cormorant sunning itself over there. When I just arrived on that solitary rock was a huge, and I mean a huge heron. And there are normally other types of waders around here. Pretty serene. That's the direction towards Banyaluka and keep going down that way and you arrive in Croatia. Love it. Serene. Really should do this a lot more than I do. I normally try to get down to the river, right on the edge, you know, but it's really overgrown at the moment and I'm just walking along in bare legs and my red and yellow cat motived Birkenstocks. So I'm erring on the side of caution and uh, not going through the tall grass and shrubbery because we do have snakes down here in this part of the country. In fact, there is a snake that hangs around. It's called the Boskop, I think. The horned viper. And uh, that can give you a very, very serious bite. And on the news recently, the country's out of serum. We saw one once in Montenegro, a baby one, but it was still quite vicious. Uh, they live in trees normally, but they do hang about on the ground. And uh, if they give you a nip, it's good night, I'm afraid. Unless you can get the serum or get to hospital quickly. If there's no snakes around, what are or what is around are deer ticks. We have deer ticks every which way. Um, and they can make you very, very ill. Cooper, our oldest dog we've had to take to the, de the vet once before yeah, he got it really bad and then uh, little Phoebe who you see in the videos running around you know the one with the curly tail um, she wasn't too bright one morning um, and we took her to the vet she had a stomach issue but when they did the full range of tests she'd been bitten by a tick as well so walking through long grass is uh, socks and leg coverings even in plus 42 or don't go out and about as my canadian friends would say so sunday morning walk first of august 2021 timestamp that and walking slowly. I used to power walk this. 
still thinking I was a young man. And I must do this more often. Please give me some encouragement in the comments below. Or, or however you can comment on whatever platform uh, you see this video. And if you'd like uh, me to do more videos of just going for a walk. We don't have too many walks to do. One I've done before which is around by the the church and I really should do the long one behind me but now with all the paths majorly overgrown I'll uh, have to reassess that one but it is gorgeous here and the second church bells are ringing every village every town has its church here it's a Serbian Orthodox faith is the main religion here so yeah Sundays in the Christian world I do miss certain things about Britain and one crazy thing although I'm not religious is uh, the peal of church bells in Britain especially from really traditional villages where the campanologists the bell ringers uh, are in the bell tower yeah, making those beautiful tunes. The last 40 minutes, just me and the birds and some of the little mammals that are racing through the undergrowth here. Just me, nobody else. At the start of the walk, one car and uh, one of their neighbors watering uh, some plants. It used to take some use... Uh, it took... Uh, oh, I'm going to get this wrong. It's taken getting used to, for me, to be the only person around. I was so used to having people walking everywhere but not here plan now is to go home have a coffee and uh, maybe a slice of bread and marmite I got my replan of marmite not so long ago so I might have that for a very light breakfast. Ooh, shade. And then a shower and we'll see what the weekend brings. It's very difficult when, you, when you're vlogging to say what you're gonna do, because people expect you to do it. And then things come in a way and you don't. And it upsets some people. Well, I don't really care. If the weather allows, in other words, it's not excruciatingly hot, Tam and I will go back into Banja Luka to film another Dayak race. This, this is one of the more exciting ones. The Dayak is uh, the long pole that uh, boat drivers, as they're called, use to punt the traditional styled river boats for Banja Luka. People think the Dayak actually means the boat, it doesn't. But uh, they're going to do some crazy race today. Ah yeah, and I like to film that, document all the traditional things that happen in the area. So, if you've watched this far, you must like the channel, so thank you very much indeed. You can follow us. I'm going to put this everywhere. Um, you can follow us on YouTube if you want. An Englishman in the Balkans. If you want to subscribe, you'll get and press that notification bell. Uh, then you'll know when we've got a new video up. The blog is an Englishman. Sorry, the blog is living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Dot com. That's all one word. But the best thing to do actually is to 
sign up for our newsletter and I'll put where you can do that below um, every Saturday morning at seven o'clock Central European time so if you're in the UK that's six and if you are in North America that's one o'clock in the morning so it's there for when you wake up uh, it's free to subscribe and you'll get a weekly vlog that we make and all the news about what we've been getting up to does that make a better shot because of the sun I think so and uh, I've decided at any rate that we'll keep our videos as raw as possible yeah of course you've got to edit now and again and uh, I don't take out the ums and ers and all the mistakes because that's not natural and I'm trying to tell a story here so like if you were with me I wouldn't be editing my speech now would I no way and on occasions we put music as well adds a bit of flavor so that's it from a Sunday morning at any rate in the village of Chadachini 20 kilometers north of Banyaluka, 6 from Lektashi, 34 from the Croatian border and yeah another 15 minutes of this slow stroll and some marmite maybe I might make some builders tea let's find out oh there's a big fluffy caterpillar 